Hello everybody and welcome to a, another quick how-to guide video for Myth of Empires. Now today we are going to look at how to capture, torture and tame an NPC. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got everything you need. Now depending on the level of the NPC is going to dictate what equipment you need for it. Now, today I am going after Dugas with a level 30 elite um, because that's what I need. Um, so, I have got quite an array of tools with me. So, the first thing I've got is a trailer or a cart with a basic torture wrap. Now, this is just a basic torture wrap to be able to transport him without him waking up. And then when we get to where we need to go, we'll be getting him, taking him off that and putting him on a higher level one. Now, because he is a level 30 elite, I'm taking my horse as well, which is fully armored up as best as I possibly can. And then I have got some weapons with me. So I'm going to be using my pole arm or my iron halberd. And you're going to need a very important thing, whatever level you're going to recruit is going to be a simple club. I've got a, simp a shield to protect my back when I'm riding around. And then what you're going to need is some twine. Now the twine is used for stringing them up to the torture device once you have caught, captured them. Now, how it works is very simple. There's going to be a few time lapses in this because this does take a little while of course if there's more of you it's going to be a lot quicker but i'm going to be doing this on my own so the first thing you want to do is find your guy now the guy i'm after is so i've got up a bit closer so you can see yeah can you see there's a guy that with his little hood on that is the level 30 elite now, I only know that because I have dealt with him. I've been up and I've scouted. So there we go. So that is now dragging him out. So I'm just going to drag him out. I'm away from his mates. Keep it to him so he'll come out. And this is why I got a shield on. Because now I can drift away. There we go. So all the others are now going away. So I can keep it to him. Oh, nope. That's the wrong guy. Okay. So the guy I actually want is this one over here. There he is. Okay. That one. So I'm going to drag him away. Bring him over. Drag him away from all the others. But you need to turn around and hit him now and again. Oh, I missed him, Matt. There we go. And he's going to keep... Just drag him away from his mates. Because, of course, taking on one is easier than taking on about six. Now, you don't need to worry too much about causing him damage at the start. Just keep it again. Keep dragging him away. Oh, I keep missing him. There we go. I've hit him again. So, I'm going to bring him away from all of his mates. So, he is isolated and on his own. Like this. Oh, he's, he's turning. So now, what you want to do once you've got him away from everybody, is just go to town on him, okay? You just got to keep taking health off him. If you take health off him, then you are going to... You need to get his health down as low as you possibly can, okay? At the start, I tend to use my horse and pole arm because I can do more damage with it. Oh, I'm just going to use the trees for cover. And just keep dragging him away. Just keep dragging him around. If you're going to use your horse and he's got a bow like this guy, you want to try and get, make sure you keep trees between you when you're running away. If you keep the trees between you, he can't hit you. And then just keep dragging him around. So there we go. So now I'm just going to weave through a few trees. So... There's less chance of him hitting me. Trying to keep a few trees between him. Like this. Now, this is going to take a little while because he is a level 30. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to time lapse here. And I'm just going to keep hitting him. And keep bringing that health down. And I'll be back once his health is nice and low. So I'll be back in a minute. Now, 
Right, here's one thing for you, just why uh, I'm, I'm just jumping back in here. But basically, if any animals attack him, just let them do it. Yeah. Don't get involved, just let him take out the, the animals. And then, because they'll take off a little bit of health for you, so it will save you a bit of time. Oh, he's going to help me here. Oh, no. Oh, I'm missing him. Right, back into the time lapse. I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So, uh, as you saw there, we have just been riding around, taking hits on the guy, and let's go and have a look. So right now, his health is really low, okay? So this is where you both need to change over to your club. And just go to town and then with your club. Oh God, don't get trapped like that. <laughs> so we're gonna go through. We're just gonna club him. Do him some damage on the club, then back out. Okay, let him change back to his bow. Yeah, it's sometimes quite difficult to get in there, but make sure you've got some bandages on you as well, especially with these tough guys. Oh, two more hits, maybe one more hit, and we got ourselves. Oh, he's got blocking me. And there we go. Now, once he is knocked out. Your task now is very, very simple. First thing you want to do is go into his inventory and take off all of his weapons. If you leave them on him, he, when he wakes up, if he wakes up, he will then be able to attack you with the weapons. And him attacking you with a fist is a lot easier to manage than him attacking you with a thing. Now, and there we go. So now... We've got ourselves a guy. So as you saw that, I got you a bit of twine. It takes a bit one twine to attach them. So you want a couple of them on you. Once he is on there, you can then go attach your horse back up. Da, 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 da. Uh, bang. Oh. Bang. Bang. And then take him back. Now, it's up to you. You can leave him on this torture chamber here. Um, but I've got some better ones at home. So I'm going to run home with him. And we're going to attach him up there. Now, there's a couple of things to do when we get there. Okay. Now, so what we're going to do is... The first thing you want to be making sure is that... You're in your talents and skills, in your charisma, in your recruitment, you want to make sure that you have got all your points into recruitment, especially if you haven't got any points in it yet. And the reason being, I'll show you when we get home. So this is going to be a bit of a track, a bit of a track just over the bridge here. So you'll have to bear with me a little bit. So just while we're heading over this bridge, if you are finding this video useful, please do smash that like button for me. It would be a massive help. And of course, if you want to stay tuned for more videos on the how-to guide, or to come and see us do a live stream or maybe even join the server then do hit that subscribe button and join the discord and then you can gain access to the server the server is not password protected it is up 24 7 except for when we're doing updates on the server uh game updates which we tend to be pretty on the ball with so please do come and join the server we need more people oh let's open the door there we go we need more people because eventually we do want to go and take a castle but of course we can't do that without people helping us now again so for those of you that are a bit skittish or, or anything like that then i warn you that the next scenes can be a little bit graphic so as you can see here we have got some proper torture chambers going on now before we go into that what we're going to do is we're going to try and jump up on this cart because there's a couple of things that you want to be doing. 
There we go. Okay. Now, as you can see there, his health is up 18%. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep punching him and basically get his health all the way down. Because basically, the more, the lower his health, the more he'll eat, which means the better he'll be. And also, this gets up your skill. Because, of course, to go for a higher level guy, you need to have... Da, 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 there we go. 225 level in your recruiter. Okay, and then you can get level 35 or above, up to a level 35. Okay, and then, of course, you can go through this. Now, doing this... Doing this actually brings up your points and also brings their health down and so forth like that. So it's really worth spending a bit of time doing this. And then all the alternative way is, of course, to interact with the item. Now, you can't interact with this one, but you can interact with the other one. So I'm just going to bring his health back down. I want to get his health down nice and low. Now, as you can see, I'm hardly doing any damage to him, which is great because your points are not achieved through damage. They're, they're achieved through the number of times you hit him. So you want to keep hitting him. Hit him for as long as you possibly can. Get his health right down. And then job's a winner. You will then build up your points so you can be able to manage them. Now, if you are only a level 20, you can only get up to level 20 and you do see a level 30 guy that you want to take on, don't fret. You can still torture him, but you will not be able to claim him once his obedience reaches 100 until you can undo it. So this is how you obtain that level 30 skill. To be able to get that, those skill points in order to, tame, to claim them. Okay? You just stand there. You punch him away. Just keep an eye on his health. Because, of course, if you if you get him down to zero, you kill him. And you don't want to kill him because these are level days. Like, these are elite guys. These are the guys that you want. These are the top soldiers. Now, there we go. So, we got him. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unattach him from there. So, let's go into this. There we go. Okay. Uh, untie torture rack. Bang. You'll find that he'll collapse. Right, now you want to pick him up. Carry him. And we're going to string him up on the batter one. Like. So, and there we go. He is now strung up. So, what we're going to do now is we need to put some food in there obviously you can see some food in there but i'm gonna split it and give them some decent food as well okay but what i'm going to do i'm going to open his inventory and i'm going to feed him like that just give him some food like the more food you give him the better he's going to be so that'll do. So now I'm going to split that. Leave that in there. But I want some for myself as well. And there we go. He's got food in there. And now it's the waiting game. So again, if you need the points, interact with it. And just let it run through. Let it do all the interacting. And everything will be fine. And you'll keep building up these points. If I go in here now, look. So if I go into Charisma. Recruiting. You can see here that my skill is going up. So for my next level, there we go. Can you see it flying up there? You can just watch that and let it go up. And then eventually, once you obtain them, he will be all yours and Job will be a winner. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do smash that like button. And of course, if you want to come back for any future videos on how to on the how-to guide for myth of empires do hit that subscribe button and don't forget guys we do have an open server that is available for people that's called the sheepfold um do come and join us and then once we've got a big group of us and loads of npcs we are going to go and take on the castle so we need people we need people we need you so do come and join us uh join the discord in order to chat with us and to find out all the, the server details but until next time ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.